28, adjust the pedal solenoid. Note, adjust the stroke of the pedal solenoid so that the dampers are lifted off the string 1 16th of an inch. There may be times when, as a result of poor regulation or worn parts, the stroke in the pedal solenoid must be set longer. The shorter the stroke on the pedal solenoid, the less heat will develop. Less heat in the solenoid translates to a longer life for the pedal solenoid. In the bichord and tricord notes, the pedal solenoid should be set so that the wedgers do not clear the strings. The felt wedge should be between the strings but not touching either. The least amount of travel for sustain to occur is the correct setting for the pedal solenoid. A. Go over sustain damper lift to the pedal. Test to see if all dampers are lifted off the strings at the same time. Lift all dampers with sustain pedal. Using the back of your fingernail, get all the strings in the piano vibrating. Lower the dampers slowly with the sustain pedal. If the sound stops on all notes at the same time, your damper pickup is regulated properly. If the action is out of the piano, you can watch the pickup to see if they pick up together. If the damper lift needs adjustment, get a low stool to sit on. Use the sustain pedal to move the damper tray from at rest to pick up. You can see the ones that are not lifting with the others. Adjust the damper lever pickup in whatever way is required by the design of this particular damper action. On Steinways and a number of old pianos, you will need to place shims, usually balance rail punchings, between the pickup felt and the tray. On most other pianos, there will be a capstan or other screw adjustment to alter the damper pickup. B. Adjust the pedal rod for minimal free play between the damper tray and the under lever. Use the appropriate wrenches to loosen the lock nut on the sustained pedal rod. Adjust the long cap nut up or down until there is minimal travel before the dampers start to lift off the strings. You may find it necessary to adjust the pickup of the dampers if they are not currently lifting evenly. C. Adjust pedal solenoid stop pad. Note, the stop pad is circular felt pad that limits the pedal solenoid's return distance. It is with a threaded rod going through the bracket so as to control the stroke of the pedal solenoid. A lock nut holds the adjustment so that it will not change in use. When the pedal solenoid is mounted in the piano and the piano is on the floor, the felt pad is on the top side of the solenoid. The large hex thrust nut is on the bottom of the solenoid. Loosen the lock nut with the appropriate wrench. Turn the pedal solenoid stop pad in a clockwise direction, looking from the bottom, until it is as high as it will go. D. Adjust the pedal solenoid hexagonal thrust nut up out of the way. Loosen the lock nut with the appropriate wrench. Turn the hexagonal tip up as far as it will go so it is out of the way. E. Adjust the sustained pedal solenoid. Load damper test song 2 and press play. Song repeat can be set for continual repeat. Observe the wedge damper lift. Adjust the damper lift. Turn the hex thrust nut three quarter inch to adjust damper lift. From the bottom, counterclockwise will get you more lift. Clockwise will get you less lift. When lift is correct, tighten the 9 16th lock nut. Adjust loss motion in the pedal solenoid. Rotate the large steel washer with the felt pad until there is only a sixteenth inch of lost motion. 
When correct, tighten the lock nut on top of the pedal solenoid.